Are you guys going out now? Yes, we're going to the park. And oh, she's nice. going to get her wellies on and do a bit of in the paddles. What is she going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Morning, how are we? We good? Good. 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 <laughs> good. I'm heavy. I don't understand why the single oh. oven is so heavy. It is heavy. Really? really? Just mind you, so yeah. on that. All I'd be able to. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel once again, Kenroy here. Now in today's video, we'll be cracking on with our ground floor renovation project. Now today we'll be focusing on getting the worktops in place, as well as cutting out the inserts for the hub and the sink. We're so excited to actually get in this close to completing our kitchen. Now if you're new to this channel guys, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button as well as give this video a like if you are appreciating the content. Now if you have been on this journey with us for a while we thank you so much. Now before I forget guys if you haven't checked out the previous videos that we've done on this ground floor renovation project I'll put a link above so do feel free to check that out. Without any further ado let's get into today's video. things that they're selling for so much more. I mean, what on earth is that? <laughs> yeah, it's just part of When you see how much money they sell yeah. each piece for, it's absolutely scandalous. Right then, sir, can we have the writer and the nozzle plugged off that? Just uh, getting the worktops ready for the sink and the hub to be put in and in order to save money one of the things that we did was we actually decided to keep our old sink which we quite liked actually it's quite deep um, it's quite a good size and rather than buying a brand new one and getting rid of this we thought if we could save some money on this then we'll definitely keep it we might think about changing the tabs um, but apart from that we're hoping to keep the sink now it's normally a bit trickier to refit a sink 
because oftentimes this seal that is around the rim of the sink um, sometimes goes a bit flat so you need to have replaced that or get a new sink but um, the builders basically told me that they're able to just re-silicone it and that should do the job um, just as good as the original seal so well at least close enough anyway so I'm just going to give it a good wash because it's absolutely filthy it's covered in dust from when we were digging out the flooring um, in the kitchen and in the living room so I'm going to give it a good wash now leave it to dry and then uh, at some point hopefully we'll cut it out and fit the sink so happy days Okay, so it's not perfect but I managed to get it to a nice state. Once it's put back in then we'll give it a proper good clean and hopefully it will last us for many years to come. I don't know what the average price of a sink is but I guarantee a decent one is over £100 so um, I think we'll have to do with this one. Are you guys going out now? Yes, we're going to the park and oh, she's going to get her wellies on and do a bit of... In the puddles. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Did you learn that from oh. you? <laughs> oh yeah, I got that on camera, love. <laughs> Oh, well, I think she did. Yeah, she probably did. Oh, I don't see that one going go viral. <laughs> Where are you? Ah! Hello. <laughs> are you going out with Grandma? No, you don't want to do the gate. Where's your jacket? Jacket. Mm -hmm. Jacket. Jacket. Where are you? Uh, we found it. Jacket. You're gonna put on wellies in the buggy. Come, you sit down. Buggy. Big enough for you? Yeah. Well, it's nice. certainly bigger than the other one. Yeah, well. So now we can have two pots on the cooker at the same time. Or even four. Oh, three. <laughs> five. Well, I'm, push I'm, I'm, not, I'm not holding my breath, but yeah, that would be good. We could have five. Because the way they space them, like the, the area is huge. But all the burners are so close together, which doesn't make much sense to me. I don't know if it's a regulation thing or what. Up here, out the way. Hello, snowman. Look, you've got a wok yeah. ring there. Mm -hmm. That's what that central one is. Yeah. So you have to get her a wok now. Yeah. Who is the walk man? <laughs> I'm the walk man. <laughs> yeah, you can't use a scour on this. No, this is not. Okay, we're slowly but surely getting back some space in the garage, so then gonna have to unpack all of this stuff oh, happy days okay guys so here's another section that I can really make a difference and this is with getting rid of the rubbish that we've accumulated from the ground floor renovation now as you can see here I'm demolishing all of the cupboards which we took out of the kitchen and in order to save ourselves cost rather than getting an extra skip 
we decided to pack all of these things into the back of the car and then whiz them over to the recycling center. Now obviously if you're paying your counter tax guys and there's a free place for you to get rid of all your rubbish, then I highly recommend that you do so. Now after getting back from the recycling center, the next job on the list was for us to start attaching the extractor fan and I was so curious to see how this would actually fit on the wall, especially since we've moved it over to be in line with the hub which will be just beneath. Now I must say that this definitely is a two man job as trying to hold the extractor fan up while you're trying to catch the levels and to actually drill the holes for the brackets to be attached is not easy trying to do by yourself. Then, uh, basically you just have to cut it with a, a hacksaw and you just have to very gently take your time. Mm -hmm. If you cut it with a grinder, yeah. you'll make this this colour. You'll get like a bluey, bluey tint. Yeah. Okay, so once we were happy with where the extractor fan was going to sit above the hub, we then proceeded to punch some holes in order to attach the bracket. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're here now with the next exciting part. We'll actually be cutting out the hole where the hub will be sitting. Once you've got your measurements precise, you then have to punch four holes into each corner of the rectangle. Then all that is left is for you to cut between those four holes. And hey presto, just like that, you've now got an opening for your hub to sit inside. Now when it came to doing the sink, it was pretty much the same thing. Punch four holes, use a jigsaw to just cut along the lines, and you guessed it, the opening for the sink is complete. That took me by surprise, I didn't think it was gonna go quite so quick. Now all that was left guys for us to do was to run some silicone on the inside of the frame, as well as underneath the sink before inserting it and using the clamps underneath to actually tighten the sink so that it can be nice and watertight. This is the fun bit now. day 10 of our home renovation for our downstairs kitchen and living room uh, we've been focusing heavily on getting the kitchen ready and today has been a really really good day we managed to get the sink cut out and inserted we've also managed to get the hub space actually cut out we haven't yet inserted it because tomorrow we've got the gas fitter come in to actually connect the hub so um, you know we're really excited for that we still need the electrician to come back and just to put on the plugs socket so that we can plug in all the appliances but so far we're doing really well there wasn't any major hiccups today just a few minor snags but nothing that the builder um, with his handy assistant me of course couldn't get around so we're making good progress um, so yeah I'll just show you what it actually looks like at the moment day 10 so we started on Wednesday two weeks ago and obviously today's Wednesday again so 10 days off work and um, yeah, really good progress, I think. Space where the hub is gonna be sitting. Um, we had a little trial earlier on, make sure that it's all um, ready to be inserted. And like I said, tomorrow the gas safety engineer should be here um, to basically come and install that for us. We could probably do it ourselves, but you know, it's always good to try where possible to get professionals to do so, get it tested and all of that, because you know, it is hand in gas and um, my builder won't touch it so i figured if he won't do it i probably should get somebody uh, who is professional to get it done 
Um, the oven is in, um, looking really smart. Uh, it's a lot heavier. Honestly, I've never felt a single oven so heavy, but um, yeah, so far so good. I don't know how it works. It's got bits and bobs everywhere. It's got a grill built in as well as a oven, obviously. So rather than having a, a double oven like we had before, which took up more space, we now just have the single and I think we'll be fine with that to be honest. Um, we don't use the oven as heavily as some families probably do. So we'll, we'll definitely make do. But it means that we now have a bigger space at the top to store our things and um, we still have quite a large space at the bottom. So um, it's a win in my opinion. And this is where below the, the hub we're going to be having drawer units for our utensils and so on. Um, it's been a bit tricky trying to fit the cover, the worktop, so they've been clamped together and you can still see the line where they've been cut and joined together. Um, you know, we won't get rid of that, it will always be there, but we'll do our best to try and make it as invisible as possible. And the back, once the tiling's done, then you won't be able to see all of the, you know, inconsistencies around the back because the tile will actually sit, the wall tile will sit on top of here and give it a nice finish. Now that this is in, tomorrow I'll get a measurement for the backsplash, which we saw one online that we, we really like. So once the hub is in, we're going to be doing a measurement from the top of the counter to where the extractor fan is, as well as the width of the hub. And then we can order the piece of glass, which we're hoping will look quite nice once it's installed. So that's the plan. Ah, the sink is in and this time it's been swapped around so before this draining area used to be on this side and the actual sink itself where you know you put the dishes and stuff used to be on this side so um, according to the plans we swapped it around it makes more sense um, so we have more surface area in this little bit here um, you know to cut up your vegetables and everything else that you need to do and we've still got a decent um, section over here as well so we'll probably be moving around the microwave and stuff because we normally have it in the corner there. So we may well move it over here depending on how it all looks and fits. Um, but yeah, so the worktops are all cut now but they haven't been fastened to the actual cupboards just yet. Um, there's still some pipe work to be done under here. We need some longer um, pipe connectors because the ones that are under there are too short. I originally had this from a previous project which I bought online and they were too long so if they can fit then that would be great but if not we'll have to get some new ones so um, yeah so tomorrow we'll probably be doing that corner post unit um, putting up some new shelves putting on end panels and also putting on some doors hopefully tomorrow I've got an appointment I have to take Sophia to a physiotherapy appointment because of her back as many of you know she's been having a really really difficult time with her back um, because of a previous injury and so tomorrow we've got an appointment which we'll be going to at 10 30 um, it's quite a little way away so you know we'll be I won't be here to help um, the fitter during that time but I'm sure he'll crack on and get on with what he needs to do but the kitchen is actually taking shape it now looks like a kitchen again um, with you know the appliances and stuff going in so happy days uh, maybe tomorrow as well we might move the fridge back um, but I'm not 100% sure yet because um, there's still quite a lot of things to do the floor needs to be grouted as well um, the tiles are down but it hasn't been grouted yet so even though we're making good progress, there's still tons to do, but um, we're getting there. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there because now it's time for me to go and make some dinner. Um, Mom is also heading back to London today. She came and spent a few days with us, which was really, really helpful, especially um, for me and Saf with the kids. She's just taking them to the park. And so um, I've got to drop her to the station in a little while. So I'm gonna go crack on now. We're making some dinner and getting some rest tonight. A much, much deserved rest. So I'm just going to leave it here. Take care.